It's been 40 years since young people across the country have gotten into an active movement. That's a lot of graduating classes. The best and most effective movements in America can, are not necessarily middle-aged political movements. There have been several that have been attempted. They're the ones that the kids across the country get involved in and coalesce in and develop their passions, develop their ideas, develop their idealism, and then start insisting on change. It's the young people in this nation that are going to inherit all the burdens, such as the per capita debt load, that adults, those of my generation, 50s and above, have acquiesced and permitted, whether they were Democrats or Republicans. How is it we've written checks to our politicians every year, every two years, and yet we end up $17 trillion in debt by the end of next fiscal year, and they're going to be expected to pay it off? I want them to get mobilized. I hope they pour their hearts into it and they get all of their friends. And then we're going to start listening to them as their platforms bubble up from cities across the nation. They'll go through an organizational period. They'll go through an issues development period and a solutions period. And that's where adults are going to get involved with their experience and help cleanse some of those solutions and proposals. But the idea is make Congress responsive to the people again, whether it's tax policy, that really is what affects this skewing of the wealth distribution across America. Um, whether it's defense policy, we started another military action in Africa yesterday. We're like a hammer running around the world looking for nails. They're gonna be paying the bills for that. I'm just hoping that this picks up, that they quickly organize, get all of their peers out there, and then begin getting their parents out there. Because we have serious problems to fix in this country before we're already the world's biggest debtor nation, that needs to stop. And we need to give them the opportunity that many of us that were born in the 40s, 50s, and 60s had. Thank you. One question, sir, what do you want? I want to see the current administration, congressmen and senators alike, held financially accountable for the damage they've done to our country over the last 10 years. I want to have the corporate interest taken out of Washington. Simple question, what do you want? The answer has been there all along. Legalized marijuana, money for the United States. What I want from the Occupy Wall Street movement is have the government become more responsive to the people. I want to see the rules that we were told that we were supposed to live by actually enforced for everybody. What I'd like to see in this movement is, I think that since in the United States the, the earning power of the American male peaked in 1973. That's because there's been a redistribution of, of incomes to where it's just becoming disproportionately at one end. I think our elected officials allow this through lobbying, through certain influencing, through, through certain powers, through listening to the wrong sources. I don't believe all politicians are bad. I think all politicians and staff are misdirected in Washington. I think I'd like to see this movement not be shanghaied by politicians, be a real people's movement of where we are trying to get a fair, equitable redistribution of wealth and not lose the American middle class. What do you want from this movement? I want a restoration of my civil liberties. What I want from this movement, and I think everybody should want from this movement, is get the money out of politics. Right now, Washington is bought and sold. The question is simple, sir. What do you want from this movement? I want uh, the three letters, power to the people. All right, I'm Joseph Silvera. I'm part of the 99%. And I believe this move is the proof that the, this government is by and for the people and should stop being part of by and for special interest and big business like Kermit Kane wants for the 999 plan, which would increase my taxes and lower taxes on companies like GE that don't even pay anything at all. Enough of this corporate welfare. Okay, the question is, what do you want from this movement? I want corporate money out of our elections and democratic process so that they stop strip mining the morality and the wealth of this country so that there's something left for my children and my grandchildren in 20 years. I want to speak to the, the money, the way it has corrupted our system. We have a Supreme Court where Judge Thomas's wife is openly selling his vote to the highest bidder, which is the corporations now. 
We have uh, senators like Brown who takes pride in collecting more money from the banking industry than any other senator. Well, I want our government back in the hands of the people of the United States. Corporate America has to get out of our government. We need to take this back. Well, I want the Federal Reserve System to work for me, frankly. The way it works now is that we have the Federal Reserve System uh, distributing our funds through, through the Treasury bonds to private subsidiary banks, who then lend that money to us at 4% interest increase. I want these middlemen, these middle private bankers, to get out of the way. I think we should uh, create a national federal credit union to where we get to borrow our own money at the fire sale deals that we let these private institutions borrow them at. It doesn't make sense to have these middlemen in the way. So I want my money to work for me. I want a few things. One, I want the banks to stop, the private banks to give up control of our country. Nathan Rothschild said it best, give me control of a country's money and I care not who makes its laws. Number two, I want my sovereignty. I bow to no flag, to no person. We're sovereign people and we need to get, we all need to figure that out again. I want our voice to be heard. I think we should stop wasting money on a war that's never going to be won and put that money back into the school system. I want us to come together and amend the U.S. Constitution to declare that corporations are not people so that we can remove corporate money and false money from politics. I want people around the world to continue to wake up. I want all my American fellow senior citizens, and we are 50 million plus strong, to contact our uh, legislators to always vote to speak your voice and to choose on the side of freedom for our generation, for our children's generation, our grandchildren, and also to honor our fathers, cousins, uncles, and sons who fought and died in previous conflicts. I want exactly what my sign speaks. I would like to end the corporate greed and uh, government corruption. Simple question, what do you want? What I want is for people to know why we're here. I want um, people to understand that we're doing this for everybody. I want corporate greed out of America, and I want the corporate decisions pulled out of politics. I want the government returned to the people, and I want decisions to benefit people. I would like separation of government and business. I want separation of church and state. I want a constitutional amendment on the national ballot outlawing lobbyists. I want politicians to be punished for accepting bribes, which is nothing more than what the lobbyists are doing. Sir, do you give permission for us to broadcast this in support of Occupy Reno? Sure do. Absolutely. Thank you. Simple question, sir. What do you want? Uh, you know, I think we need a globally ratified economic constitution. Uh, since this economy is affecting all of us, we need, all need to be a part of it. So we need to have um, a document that holds people accountable that has everyone's interests uh, at hand. Uh, look it up, James M. Buchanan, 1986 Nobel uh, Laureate in Economics. What I want is um, less religion in my politics and government. Right now we have the option of um, choosing whatever religion you want, going to church if you want, or not. But um, I think it's uh, gonna be pretty soon now that you're not gonna have that option. That's what I want. I want to be left alone about my decisions about who's going to run, who's going to be holier than I, you know, or you. Okay, I'll tell you what I don't want. I don't want people to think that they should be afraid of what this is. I believe in America and I believe in capitalism. I don't have a problem with that. But corporatism is different than capitalism. And when you have big wig corporations basically running by rules that are not the same rules that the rest of us play by, telling us that, oh, we're all really playing by the same rules. And then when they get in trouble, they get saved, they get, they get anything they want, they get their big bonuses. Somebody else on a little scale does that, they go to jail. I want every man to be responsible for their own actions. I don't want people profiting off of other people's sickness. And I think the two-party system needs to be eliminated for the country to be successful. I want to put America back to work with millions of good paying, clean energy jobs, building wind turbines and solar panels. What do you want? What I want, I want accountability for all the corruption and the crooks taking taking everything from the from the middle class and lower. And I want our future generations to have a chance to, especially the unborn. I want uh, corporations out of Washington to power back in the hands of the people. 
I want the government to stop placing special interests in corporations. I want education to be the priority for government. What do you want? I want us to realize that we as human beings are all earthlings and that's pretty much it. I want pharmaceuticals to develop an honesty pill and I would like them to do their testing on politicians to see if it works. What I want is I want the corruption to get out of the government. It's, it's like long-term career politicians, the system is broken, we gotta fix it. The question is, what do you want from this movement? I want people to start standing up with their political voice in our government and stop letting the corporations have the only voice. I want people to stand up for 99% and speak out on their own. I don't mind people making money, I mind them doing it unfairly. That's why what I want is a system where all transactions are based on mutual consent. Okay, I want individual rights to supersede majority rule. That's why we live in a republic, not a pure democracy. I want Obama to just come out and say it. We need socialism. I want corporate personhood abolished. I want to live in a world that represents the needs of its people. I want to know that the leaders that we have elected care for our individual freedoms and our abilities to achieve our dreams. In this movement, I want jobs, lots of jobs for the people in America. I want to return to democracy. I want regulatory controls on financial transactions. I endorse taxation of financial transactions. I would like to see that as a result. And power to the people. I want power to the people. Uh, first of all, you've got to get money out of politics. We've, we've got to reinstate Glass-Steagall. We need to make Wall Street work for us. Wall Street no longer works for us. Now they uh, contrive these instruments that are designed to pluck money out of thin air and, and rip off the masses. Another thing I want is I want truth laws passed. I think it should be illegal for any politician or any media outlet to uh, impose uh, an opinion as a fact. I want to impeach Clarence Thomas. I think we need to redesign the corporate entity. I think we need to make it work for the public good. I want to stop the military industrial complex. $2.1 million just as I spoke. Every minute, every day, every year. It needs to end. I want my representatives to listen to me. I am the 99%.